Hello everyone and welcome back to Kira Kira. In the last episode we had a very long talk with Karari and she wanted to break up with us. No one must be here that. It's horrible words. It made us feel horrible. She's been going through a lot. You know, she's not from a very wealthy family so she feels like she would be more of a hindrance than anything. She doesn't want us to you know, waste our time with her. But she has more to say to us. So she said, you know, let, you know, let, her, let us hear her out. And if we decide we don't want to date her, then that'll be it. So let's continue on, shall we? The voice stops me as I'm getting on my bike in the parking lot of school. I only know one person who talks politely like this. I see Serena Kashiwara standing there. Aw, oh, she looks so cute in her uniform. Car's not here yet? I see. I see. Oh, you're stuff on a band now. Hmm. Maybe she's busy. I tell her what we talked about the other day. And what I know about Karari. Maybe she'll call you later. She seems to be busy right now. So Are you worried? Hmm. How? Complicated how? You can't do anything about that, though. I mean, you can't help how you were raised. Everybody has different circumstances, and you have a handicap of being not as healthy as everybody else, so... There's no need to have a complex about it. I didn't mean to Then maybe Karai doesn't think that's her handicap, either. そうだとしても不公平ですよ。だから私キラちゃんのために何かしたいんですけど、でも何もさせてくれなくて。There's no need for that. I think Cora is happy to just have you as a friend. She doesn't have many friends, so it would be a bit lonely to have come to school if you weren't there. キラちゃんも同じようなことを言ってました。でも、そんなこと言われても嬉しくないです。Kashiwara sounds dissatisfied. Oh, and Karate couldn't thank you enough to join the band this summer. Don't you think this is something you did for her? Your health condition wasn't that good at all. Kashiwara waves your hand. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna skip that. I did put you in trouble. Ashwa almost ran away from home path last summer. Now her cell phone is banned and she has to be driven back and forth to school. No. Don't. What about the chauffeur? Kashiwa the rebel. Without a cause. Although she has a cause in this case, so. Your grandfather's just gonna get mad again. I give her a bitter smile. It seems hard for her to shake off the bad habits she picked up during the summer. Or. Yeah, maybe this is her real character after all. <laughs> Should worry about it. You just think about getting healthy, alright? Are you going to take the exam? Yes. You should focus on that since you know, we couldn't do it during summer. shouldn't say that. But anyway, you should do what you need to do. Didn't I say a black foreign car coming into the parking lot? Well, there's your ride. Kashiwara hesitates to walk towards her car. I wonder if she's still thinking about going to Karari's house. 
It's not time to be worrying about somebody else, though. Can't take care of anybody if you can't take care of yourself. You crush your water looks down. So this she mumbles. But she looks up right away. あの、前島さんに一つお願いしてもいいですか。ギラちゃんをしっかり助けてあげてください。あの子一人ぼっちにしないように時々突拍子もないことするけど、いい子なんです。私よりも多分前島さんがいてあげた方がいいと思うんです
I knew it before Yashira said it to me. We need to play in a band. That's what's going to make our life bright. Everybody recognizes her talent. Maybe we'll have a success story if we start playing again. Well, you know, even if we don't think about a dream like that, I think it'll still give us something to balance out with. We don't have to bet our lives on it. We can just enjoy it in between making a living. I talked to Murakami and Tenoya at school the next day. They're both excited. I'm planning to find someone else. I want to make a band for Karari. I'll be the bass and will you play the guitar? I'm always serious when I discuss music. That's what I can hear. Yeah, I think I should put that, in that out in the magazine. Ah, you got that? Uh, I can join you. Are you going to America? Hmm. Next year, I'm going to America. 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 i what are you talking about? It's a great idea. And I couldn't find any better members. But are you sure? It's the voice of angels. It's a Murakami can't hide his shock. Yeah, he's got a point. Like it. I like it. But if Tonoya ギターやってもらった方がいいのかな。ドラムは俺が練習して。いや、ギターは村上くんがやった方が面白いと思う。個性的ないい音が出始めたところだし、実践を積んだ方がいいと思う。Murakami shuts down. I suppose there's a teacher and student relationship in between them. 基本的には第二文芸部バンドと同じように。シーノのボーカルを曲作りの中心に置けば間違いはないと思うんだ。他のパートが足を引っ張らないように上手く構成するんだ。バンドができたらすぐにでも出してくれる箱はあると思うけれど、少し時間をもらおう。いや、ウィ
wonder if I can fix it myself if I learn how. I'm not aiming to make great sounds. I'll think more about it after the exam. Palm of my hand smells like the ocean from playing the bass. This is the smell of the sea salt in Ginkai Nada. I want to tell Karari about the band as soon as possible. I'm feeling the possibility in starting a band with Karari. It's art, a novel, a lot of great art is born from painful poorness. So maybe this environment will grow Karari more and guide us to a huge success. If it comes true, then we don't have to think about complicated things anymore. The sound of success feels nice for the first time in my life. I'm sure people will say it's only a dream, but there are people who've had multiple platinum albums and became rich. I mean, we're not saying we want to be something we've never seen before and doesn't exist. I see a new light. <clears throat> I now know how people dream. It's only been three days since she said she'd think about it, but if she doesn't call me by this weekend, I should go visit her again. I said I'd wait, but now I have something I need to tell her quickly. I'm going to her small house, and I'll say this to her. This is the time we should start playing in a band. This is real rock. I'm sure she'll be surprised, but I know she'll be happy after that. We can still enjoy life. I don't know why, but we're thinking we can't do anything fun and shouldn't do it. But there's a lot of ways to go around it when you think. Why have we been thinking in a tiny box like this? Well, maybe it's not so easy to start a band right now. But we should have thought about it more before we decided on not wanting anything. They say poverty dulls the wit. And it's true. We might find an answer to our problems if Karari and I go to the hot spring and relax. Maybe we'll take everyone who's around us. I remember we're talking about going to take a trip to the hot spring after the exam. We need to make that come true. Oh, shit. Right then, the string I've been changing breaks off. It's a brand new string. I just opened it. I haven't been coiling it strongly. The string scrapes the back of my hand. Ow! It burns! Blood! I'm dying. It's raining heavily. I'm wiping the rain off my face, but the rain is pouring into my eyes like a waterfall. I give up and paddle my bike with my eyes half open. I can't see the road like that. The pedals are slippery with rain and it's dangerous when I'm cycling my, my bike standing up. No, shut up, I'm trying to ride a bike here. F you. Step on the pedals harder. The truck road traffic is not dying down, even in the middle of the night. And I see car lights going back and forth really fast. Sometimes I get the high beam of light right in my eyes and make me feel frustrated even more. An SUV passes me fast from behind. The car drives into a water paddle puddle and splashes buckets of water on me from the side. Shit. Well, it's not like I can avoid it. Cycling as hard as I can standing up, I feel the water pressure as I lose my balance. I swing my body towards the car lane to bring my body back up. I can't fall in the car lane where cars are flying by. I turn my handle as hard as I can and jump into the small side dish with my brake. I stand up and wipe the muddy water coming off from my hair. I get back on the bike, but the chain is off. I leave my bike there and try to pick up a taxi. The taxis don't stop even though I raise my hand up because they're jerks. I know they don't want to stop because I'm covered in muddy water. I jump into the car lane to stop a taxi. I open the door of a taxi on myself and get in the car. The driver's giving me a bad look. Before he can say anything, I tell him where I want to go. To your Shinju General Hospital. Hospital? I get a phone call in the middle of the night. My TV was showing snow on the screen. I don't remember when I fell asleep. My broken bass was buried in my comforter. I search for my cell phone and see a call from my payphone. My heart started racing as soon as I saw it. The only person who'd call me from a payphone in the middle of the night is Karari. I push the talk button, feeling nervous. I hear a woman speaking in a low voice. It's not Karari. I respond affirmatively. I fear the worst. I've seen her at Karari's house on. We've said hello a few times, but this was the first time I've ever talked to her on the phone. 
It is unusual for her to call me like this. What can I do for you? Cry's mother talked in a sad voice, unlike her daughter. The tone of the voice didn't change, so I couldn't tell what she was feeling. I don't mind at all. Please tell me what happened. Fire? それで木狩りが中に取り残されてしまったんです。大怪我を負ってしまって、お医者様が言うには危険な状態だそうなので、周りに何も連絡をと。I oh hate myself for not using a taxi from my house. I forgot about using a taxi since I'm not familiar with the way of transportation for me. I'm in total shock right now after the call. Just hurt myself now. I don't feel the pain right now. I'm sure I'll feel it later since I fell like that. I need to calm down. I can't do anything when I'm panicking like this. God. A better rounder needs to be calm and make appropriate decisions smoothly. I hate myself for panicking in a time like this. Being calm when I need to be emotional. I take a deep breath repeatedly to calm myself down. But I feel my emotions being shaken up when I arrive at the hospital. Look at that. Cold, sterile walls. I enter from the entrance with the lights on the ramp. I see a woman sitting on the bench looking down under the green emergency light. The woman lifts her head slowly, like it's really heavy to lift up when I walk in. I recognize her face. It's covered with suit. Her clothes and hand and feet have traces of burns. It's Crow's mother. Her mother bows her head down. I can smell the smoke on her hair. She lifts her head back up quietly. She has a lot of deep lines on her face. Her skin is sagging and it looks like the fatigue and the problems she's had to come over. I struck on her face. Where is everybody else? Karari, Abba Karari, you said she's in unstable condition. Kirariは her mother is not making eye contact with me. She's looking down and moving her eyes left and right. Is she that bad? How did it... Her mother starts telling me timidly. Karari's degree of burn is high, and she's on the line of making it or not. She's in ICU, being treated the best way doctors can, but the doctor also said she should be prepared for the worst case scenario. Dizzy. I shake my head trying to hang on to reality, urging her mother to tell me more about it. What happened? Why is Karari the only one who got hurt? Her mother starts telling me what happened. First, なんか取り合っているようでした。キラリが大きな声を出して喧嘩をするなんて珍しいことでびっくりしてしまって。どうしようか困っていると突然畳が目ラメラとオレンジ色に燃え始めたんです。そこでさすがに私もびっくりして二
それに学生時代だって成績も良くて本当に立派だったんです Then her mother shakes her head. 火がつくと主人はその上からポリタンクの灯油を注ぎ込もうとしましたキラリはそれを奪い取るとなんでこんなことをするのって泣きながら叫んだんです<笑>その時初めて私は<笑>主人が火をつけたんだと理解したのですお菓子の話なんですが最初火を見た時はそこまでは考えなかったんですただ何か燃えているから早く消さなくちゃとそれで頭がいっぱいになってしまって Then her husband saw her watching them He started crying out loud He sat down sobbing but a cry moved fast and threw the plastic container of gasoline out the window The fire that Tommy Matt was starting to burn, other things in the house, and it was getting hard to put it out by then. Cory decided to forget about putting the fire out and evacuated with all our family members. Her husband was still sobbing, but he wasn't upset anymore. He walked out of the room as Cory guided him. Her two little sisters were still half asleep, not understanding what was going on. The mother was panicking and unable to move. <laughs> メラメラと燃えていると本当に何も考えられなくなってしまうんです普段テレビで見るとみな知っているはずなのにどうして煙に巻かれて簡単に死んでしまうのだろうと不思議に思っていましただけどあれは知っていてもできないものなんです見慣れた部屋が燃えているとぼーっとして動けなくなるんですキラリはよくあの状況で動けたものです The small house was filled with furniture. It's easy for a fire to continue burning. It was only a matter of time until the whole house went under. But Karari's two younger sisters and her mother were not moving under the circumstances. Karari needed to do something about it herself. She went outside to ask her father to help her sisters and mother evacuate, but he was sitting on the ground, spacing out. He didn't seem to be able to hear what Karari was saying. Karari gave up on that idea and started moving. She grabbed her mother from behind, dragging her out of the house. And she went back into the burning house and grabbed her sisters. They were younger than the Karari, but she was not strong enough to carry both of them together. But her sisters were holding on to each other tightly. They wouldn't let go of each other. Karari yelled something to them, but her sisters were scared of their older sister looking different than usual. And they started crying even harder. Karari pulled them apart and held one up in her arm and dragged the other by her hand towards the door. She was able to drag them outside of the door, and she was able to evacuate all friends out of the fire, getting burns all over her body. By this time, people were coming out of their houses and surrounding the fire. When they saw Karari coming out of the burning house in black smoke, they cheered her on. Her mother let out a relieved sigh. If Karari stopped there, maybe she shouldn't have to be in the ICU now. But she stood up and ran back into the burning house once again. Why? Why indeed? We're going to find out next time on Kira Kira.